what is going on YouTube it's your boy Savvy and today we're gonna be giving you the real all might guide and how to use them what's his pros what's his cons and all of that so yeah let's just get right into it all right now getting to the pros and cons for the projectile the projectile range is pretty okay it's not bad it, it's it's okay but it's not compared to like other characters like Deku, Bakugo, Todoroki which have like longer range projectiles aka the beam team but it's not bad um at level one as you can see it shoots for 65 at level nine it shoots for 90 now the bad part about the projectile game for all my though is the simple fact that you have to be very gentle if you want to shoot one projectile you have to be very gentle with with the button which is pretty it's pretty bad because in certain situations you want to just shoot one projectile but instead you will get two for whatever reason you will get two so you have to be real fast with it and you'll get one that's uh it's pretty bad but you just gotta deal with it you gotta deal with it um another problem with this character would have to be the splash damage now i know what you're wondering at least you still get damage for the splash damage let's be honest nobody wants to hit for 90 at first and then hit five to six straight 30s while your crosshair is locked on to the character and all it shouldn't be like that and then another thing about the projectile for most people that don't know the crosshair is locked on to the right to the right arm of all might so as you can see it it shoots it shoots basically straight with the right arm of all might now look at the left arm Shoot. it shoots from a distance which leads to more to more of the splash damage i don't know why they did that for whatever reason they thought that was a smart thing i mean i guess i guess but uh yeah you live with it you you just live with it you, you could definitely make it work for sure it'll definitely work but yeah his projectile game is definitely not bad it can be strong for sure a good amount of times it could definitely be strong i i, I think it's pretty solid it's in my opinion this is the first thing you want to upgrade even though you do get combo potentials better off of the b personally i'm upgrading the projectile first since this is a projectile heavy game at a certain point due to meta and all that it's, it's a projectile heavy game so i would upgrade that okay getting into his b his b move is really good for escaping in mind i will sit here and escape crazy 1v3s almost every time almost I, I can't say every time because when you got a froppy a Ida, and everybody else on you you have to really be smart with comboing your abilities so for his b you want to for movement watch you want to super jump change the direction and you want to keep it going you keep it going as you can see the cooldown is about to be done you want to use your tornado a little bit now granted this is if they're trying to shoot you down out the sky you want to use your tornado since it goes through every projectile and just look at the movement redirecting everything with the b it's it's really good everything is really good his movement is really cracked as long as you know how to chain up your abilities how to chain up your triangle your b and your y it's gonna be hard for somebody to catch you but one of his one of his problems is he's got a big hitbox also like you you see how big this guy is he's big as shit so it's like this is where the tornado comes comes in handy in the air because if you're going up against you know i i, I hate to bring them up again a uh, todoroki or Bakugo or Deku that could shoot from a very far distance um they can shoot you out the sky if they want so personally you just want to try to chain up all your abilities 
and personally use this since it goes through every projectile but you have to use that first because if you're using it at the same time of getting shot you uh you lose the first clash you lose the first one and you'll take some damage for sure but yeah okay his b for combos are really good you could just keep extending with the projectile the whole time in the air and it will give you a it will give you a guaranteed kill now we also have to take it into consideration that we are playing a battle royale game so it might not always be the best thing to try at a certain point if you're in all-out chaos in the mix of a fight but if you're not and you know that their teammate has a character like froppy abara ida like any character that can res, you better keep shooting them in the air keep them in the air don't let them get that res off at all whatsoever we don't want them getting the res off because if we let them get the res off that that's the ass yeah also <laughs> As evil as it sounds, if you kill them and they're right by the storm, you juggle them right outside that storm. Keep running with them, juggle them out there. Now you might not get the kill, uh you might not get the kill count, obviously. But hey, if they teammate really wants them alive at that time, they better go inside that storm and get him. <laughs> it's pretty evil. But hey, it works. It works. But yeah, it's it has really good uh combo juggling potential. But it is also hard to land on opponents because, granted, the CPUs aren't moving right now. You have to predict where your enemy is going because it is a straight line. You are not sitting here. Um, you are not sitting here uh, changing the direction of it, like like moving your analog stick to go a little bit to the right or left. No, it is a whole straight line. So you have to predict where the opponent is gonna roll. And if there's somebody that's rolling heavy all the time, good luck. Good luck. Um, you're going to need it. <laughs> you're definitely going to need it for sure. But his B is really good. Personally, in my opinion, I upgrade the B second. But you could choose between the B or the Y. In my opinion, you could choose between the B or the Y. I just prefer doing that because I'll get more damage um the reload speed comes back a little faster with it and i could just juggle real fast to try to to try to kill somebody uh real quick since it'll do more damage but yeah that's the reason why i upgrade uh b second and projectile a all right now get into the pros and cons of y the y is really good now compared to what it was during the beta um it goes to every projectile which is really good it is it is it is really good now the thing about it going through every projectile though you have to do your tornado first before uh they shoot they projectile because if y'all do it at the same time you're gonna take some damage from the projectile first and it's you know yeah yeah you don't want to take any damage at all you, you want to try to avoid it um controlling the tornado is a little hard um it's very stiff it, 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 it's a little stiff like but it's really it, it's still really good it's uh it's a very good defensive mechanic in my opinion it's it's a very good defensive ability um i definitely would use it um i definitely will use it to get out of sticky situations where it's like strictly all chaos and it, it's just projectile shooting everywhere you want to use it for that it also clashes with certain abilities like i said you gotta use it first um it clashes with ochaku's carsman if you use yours first obviously i know i'm saying that a lot but you really just gotta remember you have to do it first because if you don't you're gonna get hit you will get hit but yeah it clashes with a lot of things in this game besides momo shield um yeah no we're not clashing with that shield that shield just goes through everything but yeah that move uh it's really good it's it's really good the the, the con of it is that you, you you really just you gotta use it first if you don't you're gonna take damage from the 
from the uh, from the enemy's uh, ability first. But yeah, that's really it. Like that that move is just really good. It's really good. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope y'all got a good understanding on how all my supposed to work. But if you haven't from this video, you can always pull up to the streams twitch.tv slash the savior zombie. I'm live every day at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I literally play all might. All might basically almost all the time. We literally got 178 hours. We got all my day one. Don't ask me how much money I spent. Just know we spend money together. That's all you need to know. But yeah, if you ever want any questions answered, make sure y'all pull up to the streams. I can always answer everything for y'all. All right, guys. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later, man.